decided to join the military early 2001. The biggest driving force behind that was September 11th. The emotions I was feeling then, being 18 years old in high school, I knew then that I was going to defend this country regardless and it wasn't going to happen on my watch. When he joined the Army, he became an infantryman. We already had two little girls at that time. You're in a hyper-vigilant state 24 hours a day. When you come home, you don't know how not to be in that state. The thing that I noticed first off the bat working with veterans was that their symptoms were so completely different. He talked a lot about survivor's guilt. When he threatened to take his life, I knew if I had turned him in, he would be extremely angry at me. They were the comforters. They were the protectors. They didn't like anybody to comfort them. Instead of running when they seen the truck bomb, they decided to engage the enemy, sacrifice themselves for the safety of 37 other Marines. My name is Jim Joyce. I'm a U.S. Army retired command sergeant major. The room you're in right now is our wall of honor here at the Heritage Park Veterans Museum in McDonough, Georgia. Of the 76 people that you see on this wall, five of them took their own life after multiple deployments overseas. I'm the only one in this building that knows who those five are, and I will never tell. I think some of the hardest part was him not having a job when he came back. Please hire veterans. They need jobs. That was a big major stress on him to, to find a job. Honestly, that was really hard for both of us. I wanted a normal life. I wanted a normal job. What many people face is they come home and they have nobody to talk to. Please don't give up. Please don't hurt yourself. Please don't take your life. Mom, I you know what? <laughs> I won't bring any other stuffed animals, but I'll bring Daddy. <laughs> Ten days before he passed away, he went to the VA. The counselor assessed him as having PTSD, and he was supposed to go back, but he died the day before his appointment. I'm a PTSD survivor. My doctor, she is the only reason that I am able to stand here right now and talk to you as I look into this camera lens. Your life can be wonderful again. We were pressed out of measure, above strength, in so much that we despaired even of life. Besides getting married, it's still the single most biggest accomplishment was to serve this country and I will love this country till the day I die.